Perfecto. Hello again from the lovely city of San Diego in Southern California. In this series, we're showing some of the main things to do here, and in this video specifically, some of the most famous places in town. I'm gonna show you two main areas that everyone should visit because they're both traditional and beautiful with a lot going on. Balboa Park in the afternoon and Old Town, where we are right now. In between one and another, the idea is to stop in Little Italy for lunch. Ready for a mix of Spanish, Mexican, and Italian cultures today? Bueno giorno. Bueno giorno. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah. Welcome to Old Town. And why this name? This is where the city of San Diego was born. Actually, it's more than that. This was California's first settlement in 1769. You're stepping now in the oldest town in entire California. Really? Yes, how does it feel? Old. Old. <laughs> There's a timeline of events here since pre-1542, if you want to learn more about this history. So here you have basically two sides. There's the historic part and the commercial part. The historic is represented right here in the San Diego State Historic Park. It's a pedestrian-only area where you can have a pretty good idea of how life was in the colonial days. And the commercial part is all around it. It is full of shops and restaurants over here. The heart of the old town is really this park over here. A lot of old buildings, very well preserved. Look at this building here, how interesting. This was the first publicly built schoolhouse in San Diego. This was in 1865, and it was only one room, you know, for all grades from one to eight. The school over there is closed, but this house is open. This is a typical house from the 19th century, and you can have a pretty good idea of how people lived here back then. It's just one big room where everything happened. Here's the center of the old town, the plaza. Just like in other Spanish and Mexican cities, this was the center of life here. It's where they had the fiestas, the bullfights, the executions as well. And today it remains surrounded by all the historical buildings. This was the original commercial center here off the town. And something really nice here, you can go inside a lot of these buildings. Here we're inside one of the nicest houses. This is their backyard. So much bigger than the house itself. Look how big that book is. Wow, it's impressive. As they didn't have a church here in the beginning, this is where traveling priests performed weddings, baptisms, and memorial services. Inside this room, inside this house. Wow, this is so cool. The hotel, is this still a hotel? You could stay over here. Look at the guests over there. <sighs> Amazing. Now, it is supposedly haunted. <laughs> Look at this. They even have ghost tours over here. It would be interesting to stay here. Oh, yes, yes. But you know that it's haunted. And? And? <laughs> I'm not sure I have the courage, baby. Oh, the general store is today a coffee shop. They also sell all kinds of goods over there. Look at that tree. Wow, there's a space for events here. Street tacos would be good for later. Look at that, two for six. Now here it explains that uh, the old town was not like the old west that we see in the movies. Unlike in the old west, the traditional old west as you know it, trade ships from various countries would bring goods here from around the world. And San Diego was really far away from the rest of the world. So that's why it was considered a cosmopolitan and a frontier city. That's why they needed such a nice hotel here. Look how nice this eating area over here. Looks like a fun place to have Mexican food. Totally, and to go shopping too. Yeah. Look at the amount of souvenirs. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
San Diego was originally centered right here in the Old Town District, but in the late 1860s, the focus shifted to a different part of town, the Bayfront, more precisely the gas lamp quarter that we showed in the previous video. One of the coolest places you could come in the evening. The idea was that the new place would increase trade, and it worked. The new town quickly developed and overshadowed the Old Town as the center of San Diego. Look at this, baby. Hats. A home sign for hats. Hats are that important. Which one here for my collection? <laughs> so interesting how you can basically go everywhere for free, right? The park is free and you can visit the uh, buildings. The museums free. are free. The museums, yeah. At least everything that we saw here is free. No, the restaurant isn't free. <laughs> Food is not free. Drink is not free. Don't say everything. Get it right. <laughs> Uh-oh. You know why I wanted to see this house? Because you wanted to be scared. You realize that it's the most haunted house in America, huh? No, I thought that was in Savannah. <laughs> well... See our Savannah video, please. I think I see a ghost did open the blinds and closed them. <laughs> look at this house. Yeah. They don't even let you look in the windows. This place is so haunted. <laughs> I'm scared. Want to say hello to I'm them? <laughs> That's debatable, huh? It's serious. This house here was designated by the U.S. Department of Commerce to be haunted. This is the oldest brick structure in Southern California. And by the way, this is not free. This is $10 to visit here. There is a huge line here to buy tickets. I don't think we'll be going in this one. Here we are in Little Italy. Wow, it is hard to find parking over here. It's not even lunchtime yet, and a lot of these restaurants are already full and parking space is taken. Here is the center of Little Italy. It's this street here called India Street. Explain Little Italy on India Street. <laughs> Downtown is right over there. Could even walk from here. The plan is to walk all this and find somewhere to eat. Here, one of the most traditional restaurants in Little Italy, and then it just expanded from here. If you look at all this going on, you may think that this is a very traditional place, it has been here for centuries, but it is quite the contrary. All this is basically new. I mean, Little Italy was here, just not the way it is today. A lot of these restaurants were not here a decade ago. Look at the name of that restaurant, baby. Salome, Salomeria. Yeah, and below it? Wine bar. And above, baby, what's in the middle? R and G. That's where we gotta have lunch, huh? Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is so Renata and Gordon. An authentic Italian lasagna here. Mm, che buono, perfetto. What did you get? A bologna sandwich. Bologna sandwich. It looks very good, huh? Oh, this is so good. It's just the way I like it. As always, you're so fast, huh? <laughs> Look one. at this. First one to finish. In a typical Italian restaurant. Look at that. There's soccer on TV. <laughs> Italian football, of course. Authentic Sicilian food. Great food and great atmosphere over here. Thank you very much. RNG actually stands for Roberto and Giuseppe, the owners. They lost their jobs during the pandemic, joined all the savings and opened this place here. It looks like it's a success. The parking is back here. Welcome to the main public park in San Diego. This is Balboa Park. This park is so big that there are streets crossing the park. Look at this over here. Sure, yeah. This is peach cobbler, it's like peach pie. Oh, okay, thank you. Of course. Mmm, peach cobbler. This is fantastic. Very worth it coming here and trying with her. 
What makes this park so unique is that this is more than just a park. In addition to all the green areas, the gardens, the walking paths, you find a lot of museums, theaters, even the San Diego Zoo is here. You got both free and paid attractions here. So you may want to consider spending a good part of your day here or returning multiple times, preferably on weekdays. Not everything is open on weekdays though. Free admission. So interesting how it gets much cooler and you feel it as soon as you walk in. Carnivorous plant. Oh, look at that. Do you want to put your finger there? No. <laughs> it's a vampire. Oh. Uh, look at this. It says here, the botanical building is acclaimed as the most photographed spot in San Diego. Look at this building, how beautiful. This is the San Diego Museum of Art. It looks like I'm in Spain. <laughs> and this is just one of the museums they have here. This park is so big that they actually have an app to help you navigate the area. And this is where I discovered they have 17 museums. So beautiful. That tower over there is called the California Tower. Beautiful view from up there. We see the name Balboa, Balboa everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's Balboa Park, right? Mm -hmm. Where else have we seen Balboa everywhere? I don't know. That's a great memory. Didn't Balboa come from Portugal and discover a new world? Yes, he did, but not ah. from Portugal, from Spain. Yeah, see, see, see. <laughs> but also remember, we saw a lot of Balboas in Newport Beach. Ah, uh, okay. Recent video, go back in this playlist. This name Balboa is a homage to Vasco Nunez de Balboa. He was the first European to cross Central America and see the Pacific coming from the New World. Here's a Japanese garden. Look at how beautiful. This is one of the largest outdoor organs in the world. Wow. Really impressive how loud that is, isn't it? Yeah. I'm impressed. You should be. <laughs> Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Here we're now in the International Houses area and on the weekends they're all open. You can go inside, check a little bit of each country. You've got to choose a country anywhere in the world. Kazakhstan. No, they don't have Kazakhstan here. Okay, do they have Canada? I don't know, let's see. Canada is too close, you know, let's go far away. Bahrain. <laughs> You're giving me a hard time here. Colombia. Colombia, they got Colombia, Where? let's go there. Colombia. Colombia. Yeah, yeah. Just say the Brazil. Oh, okay. Colombian nice. coffee is very famous. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, muchas gracias. Yeah. Good, and you? Oh, yeah. We got a waffle in the Norwegian house. And he explained to me that this is not something they eat for breakfast, but it's like a mid afternoon snack. Mmm, wow, such an interesting combination. I never had waffles like this. Almost like sweet and sour. <laughs> it's my impression. Look at the Beatles here. Yeah. Look at how young. <laughs> John Lennon, 17. Paul McCartney, 16. Princess Elizabeth, before she became queen. Got some tea in the House of England. So I asked for the traditional way. She said it's with milk and uh, very little sugar. That's how I got it. She warned it is very strong. Very hot and strong, yeah. I guess he needed a little bit of sugar here. <laughs> but good, good. I like teas. Come here, come closer. Oh. Sad is the great, not God into the great. Sad is the great. <laughs> 538 BC, see? Uh -huh. Before Christ. What did he do? First declaration of human rights. Wow. That's impressive. Before 538. Christ. 538. 2,500 years ago. Yeah, and that's in the house of Iran. 
Look at this space, how beautiful. A lot of people taking wedding pictures, maternity pictures. Really nice. At the end of the day, baby, Balboa Park is still a park, right? Here's the park part of it. Imagine that a park is a park. It is really beautiful. Very well taken care of. They even got this train here to take you all over the park. And it is free, so cool. Everywhere you go here, it is just so beautiful. We've seen some of the top places here in San Diego today, right? What was your favorite? I like uh, Italy on India Street. <laughs> what about Balboa on? Balboa the Explorer. Not from Portugal, <laughs> but from Spain. And be careful, the planes coming. The planes are really, really low. Look at that. <laughs> Everywhere we've been today, it's really, really nice. Very worth it. San Diego's a lovely city, huh? Oh, very. The next video, I'm gonna show you some more beautiful areas here in San Diego. What is missing? A little bit more of the coast, right? We're gonna see some more beaches. I like when artists pay attention to detail. Why some is that? artists are so detail-oriented. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to tell you. That is so I won't you. tell you. <laughs> 